Hello, my name is Aaron Dipner. I'm a software engineer for ESET North America and developer of the ESET deployment and monitoring components for Autotask AEM. In this video, we'll be taking a brief overview of the components and how they work. To get started, we'll have to go up top to the ComStore tab. In the search box at the top, we will type in ESET and click Search ComStore. From the results, we'll see a list of components available for deployment and monitoring of Windows, Mac, and Linux clients. We can click on one to get details. From the Details window, simply click Buy to get this component. To see this and other components, we will go up top to the Components tab. From here, we can see a list of all the components we have acquired. To modify the one that we just got, we'll have to clone it first. From this page, we can make any necessary changes, including renaming our component, as well as uploading any files, such as custom installers or even agent batch files. Input variables can be modified based on your specific needs using the descriptions on the right. Once we're ready, go ahead and click Save. To deploy a component, we can go up top to the Profiles tab, and click on the profile we'd like to use. Next, we will click on the Devices tab, and check the box next to each device we wish to deploy to. From here, we will run a quick job. Here we can see the components available for deployment, including version 5 for Linux, Mac, and Windows, as well as version 6 for Linux, Mac, and Windows. For version 6, you'll need to include your Agent Live Installer batch file, which can be acquired from the ESET Remote Administration server and uploaded in the Earlier Components tab. Let's use version 5 as an example. In here, we can populate the necessary fields, such as server host name, as well as other options such as port, ESET product, local installer files, configuration files, and language. Descriptions for all of these are available to the right, hovering over the I. Once we've clicked OK, we will be taken to the Scheduled Jobs tab where we can monitor the progress of our deployment. Once our job is finished, the box in the upper right-hand corner will appear and we can click on it for more details. This page will show us the success or failure of our deployment. We can take a look at any of the output from the deployment. as well as any errors that may have occurred. We now have ESET successfully installed, so let's set up a monitor for it. We can start by clicking on Profiles. Select the profile we wish to use. Click on Policies. And add Profile Policy. Provide a name for our policy. Add a target. And a monitor. We will select Component Monitor. and the appropriate monitor for your operating system. The ESET monitoring components also provide an input variable for the max up-to-date period in days. Feel free to configure the response details, as well as the ticket details. Next, we will save our policy and push the changes. We can observe these monitors by using the Monitor tab. 
where we will see the various outputs for these monitors. We can get more details by clicking on an individual row. And this concludes the overview of the ESET deployment and monitoring components for Autotask AEM. Please provide us with any feedback you may have regarding these components. Thank you.